guys! I'm back! Miles loud. Oh! Finally! Thank you! Oh my god! That took way too long. Not a visit graces, I mean in Washington subcontinents. I know this is technically a, uh, just a, a reference to Tales of Graces, but what if it is all on one world? That would actually be pretty funny. Not that I think it is, but still. Grim. Resurrect the Elemental Imperians. True. If we do that, we might be able to suppress Inominat's domain. It may even liberate the minds of the Malakim that Inominat has under his control. I'm sure some will no longer obey their exorcists. Good. We'll take a big bite out of their forces. More importantly, Inominat will lose the ability to enhance the resonance of his exorcists. Most exorcists will no longer even be able to perceive Malakim at all, just like before. Of course, anyone as innately gifted as me is another story. Will I... become unable to see Lafayette? We won't know until we try. Eleanor... Then let's give it a shot. I'll... accept whatever happens. But these elemental Empyreans... they're gods, right? You sure it's okay to disturb their beauty sleep? They control the four elements. Waking them is likely to upset the balance of the world quite a bit. I'll take that as a no, then. We don't even know how to revive them. At worst... If it's anything like the opening, then we need to offer a sacrifice at the Earth Pulse on a Scarlet Night. We have to kill someone? The act of killing is not essential to the ceremony. All that's needed is a soul free of malevolence. Hmm. If that's true, then doesn't Velvet already have a whole belly full of them? The exorcists I devoured. It's perfect! You're a Therian, you're capable of releasing the power you absorb. The souls of the high-ranking exorcists you ate should do nicely. Use Oscar and Teresa's souls to resurrect the Empyreans? It's worth a try, at least. When's the next Scarlet Night? Three years after the advent. In other words, soon. Hmm. Do we have enough time? The four Empyreans are asleep in different places, right? Correct. Four Earth Pulses for four Empyreans. But if you use a life pool, you may be able to awaken all four at the same time. A life pool? Earth Pulses normally flow horizontally, but in exceptionally rare cases, they can flow vertically. This causes energy to collect at the Earth Pulse's base, forming a life pool. Though sometimes the energy flows the other way, upward, into what's called a life spring. Ho-ho! Oh, so if we make use of one of these life pools, a single sacrifice could reach all four Empyreans. Where are they? There's a life pool in the northern reaches of Midgand. But I heard a large temple was built over it recently. That's the Empyrean's throne! We can't go there! It's Inominat's home base! Ah, uh, most unfortunate. Couldn't we use a life spring? It all connects to the same place, right? We'll have to go against its flow, but... We'll force the soul right down its throat. <laughs> Where's the nearest life spring? Our best bet would be Mount Killeraus. Aizen? I'm fine. What's done is done. Killeraus? That's the volcano on the northernmost tip of Northgand, but it's a hellscape of ice and lava! Naturally. Cool. Killeraus is the most powerful life spring there is. So, in short, we shove the souls of the exorcists into the molten core of that volcano. <laughs> that should awaken the four elemental Empyreans. Together, they will seal off Inominat's domain. It's just a theory, but... It's one I'll put my money on. Me too. Then we're off to Northgand. Mount Killeraus is north of Helleviz. No way it's that simple. There is no way that it's that simple. I'm sorry, what? Uh-huh. 
Bunsen Devil. Really? So it's back. Okay. Okay, so I literally can't just bloody hell. Fine, I'll talk. The ship's ready to sail. Where are you headed? We don't have a problem. If you've got a grudge, we can settle it here and now. Huh? Why would we have a grudge against you guys? The first mate fought like the first mate. The captain died like the captain, right? I suppose. Then no swabby here can blame you for what happened. We're Eifried's pirates, and don't forget it. We're not so pathetic that we need pity from some lord of calamity. All right. The ship's in your hands. <laughs> aye, aye. You can count on us. The Von Eltia looks the same as ever. But it feels utterly different, doesn't it? Yeah. Even Benwick looked like he'd been crying. I can imagine. But if we let ourselves despair now, we'd be a disgrace to Eifried's creed. We have to swallow our anger and grief. And sail on. Right. Following a creed isn't always pleasant. We must do what we must. I won't allow the Abbey to do things like this. Destroying someone like that. Turning them into a puppet. It's unconscionable. Still, a heart can never be fully bridled. It can be shattered, but never erased entirely. Eifried proved that. Right. His body is gone, but he lives on through his crew. Magilu is right. What lives in one's heart can never be erased. Yeah. The heart is eternal. What? Never mind. I'm not gonna bother. Huh. Really? I can't go anywhere else. I have to go to Hillovies. Fine. Oh, that's why. Cutscene. I see. Or a calcum or not, Stormquell snapped like a twig. I'm afraid so. It was Inominat who did it. But I think Shigure could have done the same. So hardness alone isn't enough. No shit. Forgive me. I thought I had found clarity, but it was only foolish pride. You should be proud. You are without a doubt the greatest swordsmith in the world. I'm looking forward to your next blade. Even now, you would still place your trust in me. Of course. Is there any other swordsmith who could craft a blade out of Orichalcum? You're a master of your art. A visionary who spent centuries working to forge a blade of legend. I'm honored to know you. I don't know what to say. Unless, of course, you've given up on making a sword to surpass Stormhowl. <laughs> Does this look like the face of a man who's given up? Not in the least. <laughs> We're making good time. The only problem is that ceremony that Arturius was going on about. We don't know how long it'll take. Eifried said they called it the Ceremony of Suppression. Most likely, it's how Inominat plans to release his power. Most likely. He hasn't absorbed Lafayette in your despair, so Inominat should still be incomplete. But if his powers fully awaken... Humanity will be robbed of their free will! I can hear them celebrating now. The uglinesses of the human soul are suppressed. And the world is free of malevolence! Hurrah! Hurrah! Robbing humanity of its will. They'll be like I once was. Oh, something's coming!
enemy cutscene. Well, that's not good. Yeah, look at that. Light, light's gone from your eyes. They're puppets now. Are you happy, Arturius? They're nothing now. They're just things. Hey, uh, please, guys, let's not fight. <laughs> Is a domain? You know me not, domain. <sighs> Their wills have been stolen. It's not been fully sealed away yet. Rokuro, give him a good smacking. Wake him up. On it. Aizen. Got it. We'll put in at the nearest harbor. To Port Zexon! What's wrong with the Abbey? Oh, wait. Stupid question. Ah, uh, I feel like some jerk played tug-of-war with my brain. Dig up some spirit. They're trying to strip away your will. I'm definitely at the end game here, yeah, I'm pretty sure. Because this is getting too intense for it to be anything else. Look, it's that merchant. You're all right. I do not deserve to be all right. I used people, stepped on them just to make a profit. I even aided wanted criminals so that I could expand my business. So? My soul is black with ugliness and can never be forgiven. Wow, this is what happens to you strip people of free will. They... Wait! Uh. Stop! The world needs to be purified of malevolence. I don't belong here. I have to die. I have to die. I have to die. No! That's, it's not that's... right! No, it's... Oh. Ha! You can die if you want, but saying you have to die is a good way to make my blood boil. Yeah, demons all Those awakened to their own malevolence seek to end their lives. Welcome to Artorius's uncompromising world of reason. First they steal humanity's rudder, and now they want to say who lives and who dies? We should find out what's happening here, unless you'd rather not see. You're right. I wouldn't. But I won't hide from the truth any longer. Before anything else, we'll need to confirm just how far his power reaches. Let's head to Logris. You know me not suppression. Is this the ideal world the Abbey envisions? Bien! There's no life in anyone's eyes! This isn't a fun place at all! It's not just people's minds being shackled. They're being forced to die, too. It's terrible. Why would dying be part of anyone's ideal world? Even under such strict control, new sins can still rise to the surface. If that happens, it's better to end the life of the sinner. Melchior came to the same logical conclusion. What utter rubbish. Exactly. Anyway, we need to get to Logris. What's going to happen to the world? How far will Anominot's power spread? 
When his domain expanded, I felt a faraway power suddenly come closer. It was enough to blot out the whole sky. I'm sure it's covered other towns, too. His domain has certainly extended to at least the entire populace of this country. Otherwise, what would be the point? That means what happened at Port Zexen is happening everywhere. Everyone is either a puppet or... Dead by their own hands. Inominat created this ideal hell in a single moment. That's the power we're up against. So we few are standing against a truly monumental force. This is your last chance to turn back. Turn back to what exactly? Forward or back, we're headed into hell either way. At least this way, I'll have my own free will. I'd prefer a living damnation to that oblivion. Well, don't come crying to me later. Let's move along then. Yeah. So this is the result of their ceremony of suppression. Seems that way. They've brought their peace to mankind. This isn't peace, it's death! Not that they see the difference. Ugh. I was a fool for trying to sell commemorative chalices to the people visiting the Empyrean's throne. Happiness can't be bought with ill-gotten gains made through deception. In an effort to change my malevolent ways, I sold my shop and entered the Holy Priesthood. Rather than pursue my own greed, I've chosen to dedicate my life to bringing the sacred teachings to all. Wow, look how shiny and pure he is. So this is what happens when Inominat suppresses all of someone's sins and desires. How nauseating. And this is the kind of world they're trying to create. Inominat? Arturius? Malkior? Humanity is flawed. Live with it. Idiots, they're all idiots. Hey, you're Kakiku's menagerie. Ooh, close. It's Magilu's menagerie. I apologize for always demanding that you entertain me, despite my inability to even remember your name correctly. I'm also sorry to you, miss, for always insisting you do that tedious little bird impression of yours. I feel so bad I could just punch myself. Nay, I must. Go ahead, I'm it's funny. I'm not sure if I'm more angry what? or confused. It is wrong to seek pleasure from viewing petty tricks and pointless entertainment. Honest hard work alone is right. Someone such as I, who was unable to live in accordance to the simplest of truths, should disappear from this earth. Please, use that special trick you told me of. Make me disappear forever. No, idiot. What is wrong with you people? All right, your free will's been, dis been destroyed. Wow! Even their loyal exorcists have been completely suppressed. Nice, Arturius. Nice. Wouldn't I get to kill him? Oh, I know what's gonna happen. You know what? This isn't like Van from Tales of, Tales of the Abyss. This is not someone trying to change the course of fate. This is a this is someone who couldn't handle his own grief and decided unilaterally to destroy humanity. We must accept that we all grow old. I can no longer perform the physical labor that allowed me to benefit society. I no longer deserve to live here. I must find a place far from others. There, I will await a quiet death. This isn't someone accepting that they'll grow old. This is him refusing to grow old. If this spreads, we'll have no more old people at all. Okay. Arturius? You know me not? Malchior? Hey, Malkio, go kill yourself. You're old. By your own logic, you should be dead by now. What the hell is wrong with these idiots? Pet 
Governments consume precious resources and grant no tangible benefit to society. That's why I say we should throw them all back outside. It's only right. I threw away my friend's entire pet beetle collection. They have been purged. This is all for the new order. But I want to keep my rhino stag rose. Then keep it. This is terrible. This is a nightmare. What in the hell? Go to hell. Follow up. I've said it once, I'm gonna say it again and again and again. Go to hell, Arturius. Go to hell, Malkior. Go to hell. You know me not. Oh, look, another one. It was the height of foolishness for a lowborn person like me to hold on to romantic fantasies about Prince Percival. I should seek a male companion suitable to my social status and live a life free of pointless desire and pride. Form, beauty, appearance, all are superfluous. Reason dictates that I seek a biological partner who lets me live my life with greater efficiency. While what she's saying isn't technically wrong, it really, really creeps me out. So, love is wrong. Seek partners that what? Even the capital is silent as death. Inominat's power did all of this. A god among gods. Oh please, he's not a god. He can't create life. He can't. He can only end it. That's not godhood. Gods create life. They cherish it. He doesn't. Fountains are purely decorative and serve no purpose to the collective good of mankind. They must be purged. Not just the fountains. The streets and houses are filled with unnecessary extravagances. Comfort is another word for vanity. It is a lie that breeds only envy and war. All vanity must be purged. Yes, we cannot let ourselves be ruled by desire. We must control ourselves and lead lives of purity. If they keep abandoning desire after desire, eventually they'll abandon even their desire to live. Yep. Which is exactly what Inovanat wants. He is evil. I knew it. I said all along that taverns are dens of evil. Now there is no one left who desires that demon drink. It clouds man's judgment and causes good people to fall into corruption and sin. It should never have existed. Taverns shall now only live on in history books. I've always opposed the sale of nectar and intoxicating drinks. From now on, those places once known as taverns should be used to distribute food equally to all. Flavor is irrelevant. It is enough for food to fill the stomach and contain the nutrients necessary for survival. Food is not something that should be enjoyed. But eating is part of being alive. If you can't enjoy your food, how can you enjoy your life? I don't want to live like that. This is a nightmare. I'm getting chills now. I'm getting chills because what is wrong? These, this is, this is. Can I just kill everyone now? Isn't there anyone here who still has free thought? Not this close to the fucking thing. I hope thing. so. There has to be. Well, maybe Arturius, but he wants this. Mommy! That was a child. Hello, Baskerville. Don't show any feelings, dear. If they spot you, they'll die horribly because I'm gonna kill them all. Hi, Malikim, I'm gonna kill you all now. Time to eat. Prince Percival, Tabitha, you're still you. Of course they are. Demons. <laughs>
In the capital? No, they're molecules. Tabitha, your mind's still your own? Yes, somehow. But Prince Percival and that girl... Looks like those Malakim took them away somewhere. The Prince was trying to help us get away. He said that the Abbey was gathering those who still had control of their own will at the villa. We need to go after the Prince, and see just what's going on at the villa. We don't know what sort of defenses they have at the front gate. Let's sneak in through the back. Good plan. Back into the catacombs, then. You got it. Oh, they cannot be stupid enough to do that place undefended, right? So stupid. It's a Prince Free World because it's pure evil. And he knows too, he knows and doesn't care because his ideal world is not a world at all. Little fool. But hey, at least everyone's obedient. Now, she hey, Shepard, now everyone's obedient for you. Yes, Shepard, yes. He's a garbage. Radius not defended. So those weren't demons, they were Malachim. Yes. They were probably ordered to hunt down any humans who still possess free will. Enominat isn't whole, and his oppressive powers are not yet absolute. So he must be using the Malachim to find anyone he missed and process them. Sounds like him. Process? Be it a prince, or a little girl. I wonder if Tabitha's alright. I don't think she'll be suppressed so easily. Aye. She's got more grit than the average soldier. But even if she resists oppression, if the Abbey finds her, she'd stand out even more with us. She ran an entire shadow network. Finding a place to hide will be child's play for her. Maybe she was just pretending to be an old woman. Huh? But I really loved Tabitha's cooking. I'm just kidding. You don't run into a woman that tough every day. She's been living in society's shadows since before we were born. If she heard you were worried, she'd laugh and say you're wasting your time. Then we should be on our way to the villa. Yeah, on our way there and to murder a freaking hypocrite. Oh, we're doing this for the good of humanity. Really, we are. What do you mean? What do you mean? It's not good to suppress. It's not good to suppress all emotion and all desire. That's not true. It's good because desires are wrong. That makes the desire to live wrong. So die, okay? <laughs> Idiots. Okay, seriously? Ugh. Oh good, it's returned. Now to see what I get. Take a look at this. 
Roll me to the wine. A new recipe! I've gotta try it! Fun! Scout ship departing! Okay, yeah. I'm actually going to see. I mean, supposedly the, the freaking thing is here somewhere. I need to find it and kill it. Otherwise, I'll be too annoyed to. Good, I can just break through them. Here's the entrance. I don't know where I'm going. Okay, I don't know where this freaking monster is, but it's not here. I don't know. Red hands. Where is Yeah, that's who I am, but Whatever, I'm just gonna get on with it because I cannot find the damn thing. Oh good, I get to kill things again. Because I get the feeling we're going to be fighting. Leave the fighting to. I get the feeling we're going to be fighting. Just let's just go and kill things, shall we? Yeah. 
and to think things like this this magnificent temple Inovanath thinks it's wor it's worth nothing that it's evil what a pitiful little creature he is I'm going towards the... Yeah, that's why. Right where it is. My mind is... A channeling circle! He's eating their will directly! Hey look, it's a... What the hell are they? Yeah, that's right, stupid thing. Prince Percival, are you all right? Uh, yes, thank you. Well, I know I can still feel scared out of my wits at least. Uh, Is everything okay, kids? It's all right now. We'll help you find your mommy, and then mommy we'll... was executed. They killed her because she stole food to give to me. But that's okay. I had to. Mommy was acting against reason. I'm going to kill all the legates. <laughs> Shigure, you're awesome, so but you're in on the this true face of their suppression. thing. Yes, this is the ideal world sought by Shepherd Artorius. As long as malevolence gave rise to demons, this was the only way. That's why the Kingdom of Midgan consented to his plan. They knew? But I will never consent. Good. Oh, 
a world without sadness, but also without joy. A world without hate, but also without love. You suppose the whole world's like this now? No. Even this close to the Empyrean's throne, some here have held on to their free will. Still, we don't have much time. Right. I can feel Inominat's domain spreading even now. It's incomplete, but it's quickly growing stronger. Even we might be suppressed if this keeps up, and then it'll be reason o'clock all day long. <sighs> Prince, Griffin is doing well. Good. That's good. <gasps> I'm happy. Truly. Good. Until now, I thought I was just a tool to serve my country. But when my feelings were being torn from me, I felt myself want something. No, I thought. I don't want this. I don't want to lose who I am. I understand the true horror of this ideal world now. I know it's selfish to put this burden on you, but I beg you, stop all this. Stop Shepherd Artorius. Shepherd. You said something to me once. A bird that cannot fly is no bird at all. And now I say this to you. People stripped of their feelings can never truly be alive. Yeah. That's how I used to be. We're going to defeat Artorius. We're going to make this world one where we can be ourselves. We're doing it for us, not for you. <laughs> she says with a smile. You've changed, haven't you? You really have. You used to be a sword wielded by your own hatred. But now, you're in control. You're the one who swings the blade. Yes. <laughs> Even if I still don't know when to sheathe it. Don't worry. When danger comes, I'll be there to protect you. My, I'm jealous. It must be nice to have a reliable young man like that by your side. It certainly is. Our fee's a gallant soul. Eisen. About Captain Eifried. I dealt with him. But the Abbey... They stomped all over Eifried's pride to achieve this suppression of theirs. With these hands, I will destroy them. Yes, you will. Then I'm going to be selfish too. And as just another flawed human being, I will offer a humble prayer that you succeed. To who? Well. Up, bumped. Who wants to go cut our way into this throne of theirs? We can't just barge in, sword for brains. We gotta prepare. <laughs> we stick to the plan. Wake up the four Empyreans and take Inominat's domain away from him. Artorius said the ceremony wouldn't be complete until the Scarlet Night. Will they complete the ceremony first, or will we awaken the Empyreans? It's a gamble. Well, moping won't get us anywhere. Let's head to Mount Killerhouse. Right. It's time to suppress the suppression. Determined little girl, isn't she? Really? Again? You know what? I'm just gonna end this. Yeah, I'm gonna end this here. For now. Oh boy, that was... I look forward to killing... The Legates now. Even Shigura, and he's the only one I actually like. Jeez, I'm out.